ever wanted to change the world? Maybe ease world hunger, detect and cure diseases, find a way to fix environmental damage. Ever heard of synthetic biology? It may hold the key to our scientific future. Cutting-edge scientists are taking microscopic DNA and genes from organisms and splicing them into others to find new biological solutions to some big world problems. There's this thing that I always say, um, similar to there's a, always an app for that, um, there's always a gene for that. A group of young scientists out of the University of Calgary have done just that, working on a project called Fairy Tales. They found a gene that can help detect deadly bacteria before it enters the food chain. The goal of the project was to try to find a really fast way to diagnose when cows are sick with E. coli so that it doesn't get into our food chain and it doesn't cause such huge issues. Currently, the only way you can detect E. coli is you do what's called the PCR test. And this is you test a couple spots of the beef, and if those tests come back and there's no E. coli, it passes. The problem with this is, is you're only testing a couple points on the beef in a large sample, so you can easily miss somewhere that might have a positive E. coli spot. But PCR testing happens after cattle have already gone through the processing plant, not before. And some cattle carry more E. coli than others in the herd. A lot more, like 10,000 times more. We had this crazy idea of, um, what if we could build a sensor to monitor the amount of E. coli before they get slaughtered? What we thought is we want to make something easy, something easy to identify that you could get a yes or no, is this an um, E. coli in the cattle? The result looks suspiciously similar to a home pregnancy test. What we did is we bound these proteins to a test strip when these proteins bound to the DNA of harmful E. coli, we are able to have them also bind to another protein which gives off a blue color. What this means is if the DNA from the harmful E. coli is present, you'll get a blue line across your test strip. Hopefully, the fairy tale project will lead to much, much faster diagnosis of cows that have E. coli and make it much safer to eat beef, make the beef industry have far fewer losses. But what was really cool about what we uh, built was that it is, it is something that is that can be um, modified to detect anything else as well. So it was a platform technology that we could have also used to detect other types of bacteria or viruses in food production areas or maybe medical diagnostic areas. The applications are virtually endless. As the Fairy Tales team says, the only limitation to synthetic biology is your imagination. It's something that I think is soon to explode that there's still a lot of technological development to make uh, synthetic biology really useful for our purposes. And by putting yourself in a field like synthetic biology, I think you can be a part of something that's gonna have a very real impact on the world. How are you going to change the world?